Oh, hello. Yes, hello. Am I through hello. to the um, to the church, the RCCG Church in Battersea? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. hello there. Could I leave my number, please? I'd like to know more about the church. I, I, I saw um, details about the church online. I'd like to know more. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, good afternoon. How are you? Hello, hello. Yes, I saw the church um details online. Um uh, yeah. um Battersea R C C G, is that right? Yes, Beautiful Gate. Beautiful Gate Church, yes, of the R C C G. Um Yeah. What does the church teach about tithing? Uh, um, I, I, I've heard about this, and, and uh, yeah, what does the church teach about that? About tithing? Yes. What the Bible says, mm. that you should pay one-tenth one of our salary. Right, so it's a kind of a well, command, is it? You follow the Bible up to uh, A to Z, everything the Bible says. Right, but when tithing is mentioned, um, in the Old Testament, for instance, it's a command to the nation of Israel. Are there any verses in the New Testament where Gentile converts to Christ, like myself, I live in England in the year 2021, uh, I'm not a Jewish person from 2,000 years ago, which verse in the New Testament commands Gentile Christians like me to pay a tithe? There's no Gentiles, there's no Jewish, one accept Christ as a personal Savior and Lord. So we become one before the sa before God. So if you accept Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, you are no more called a Gentile, you are no more called a Jewish, you are called a child of God. Okay. So what our Lord Jesus Christ did, we need to make sure we are the answer to it and we do the same thing. That's what we do. R right. O okay. So where do where are children of God in the New Testament commanded to pay a tithe? I mean, is that commanded in the New Testament? After Jesus' death, burial and resurrection, which I certainly believe in, are Christians commanded to pay a tithe to a church pastor or church leader? I mean, could you show me that? Is that in the New Testament? Now, I'm sorry. I just put your phone from the bathroom. Yes. I'm showering. I have soap on my face because I don't like to miss any call. That's why I pick it. Maybe you can call me later. I have soap on my face. I oh. just pick the call to make sure I attend to you. So oh. I can't carry on with it because the soap is affecting my oh. eyes now. I need to wash my face. Okay, well, I'm sorry, so to, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, call I'll call you back. Can I call you back at three o'clock? At what time? Three o'clock. Not today because I'm having a lot of a, um, oh. I, I guess, Visiting me today, my grandchildren, my children, they are, they are here from what, from twelve o'clock. I mean, from uh, two o'clock. So, oh, well, I mean, if I call at one thirty, could we speak briefly at one thirty? No, you can call me tomorrow. Okay, what I'm, time tomorrow? This is a busy day for me. Right. Okay, what time tomorrow? Ten o'clock in the morning. You can call me anytime from ten, uh, from twelve o'clock. Anytime from twelve. Okay, if I call you at 12 o'clock tomorrow, is, is that all right? That's okay. Okay, well, thank you very much for your help. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.